ectopic pregnancy is a serious pregnancy condition that really needs prompt medical attention to save the life of the pregnant woman. Anyways, my name is Emile Sandy Elavagno, a senior licensed medical laboratory specialist and a diagnostic medical sonographer. I talk about everything health related here on this channel. So if today is your first time of coming across the channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any video coming from this channel. We are going to be talking about what ectopic pregnancy is, we will be talking about the risk factors of ectopic pregnancy, how ectopic pregnancy can be diagnosed, and the last thing, we shall be talking about how it can be treated or the treatment options for ectopic pregnancy. So what is an ectopic pregnancy? An ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy complication where the fertilized egg settles and grows outside the cavity of the uterus. Now, let us revise how pregnancy happens. The ovaries of a woman must release an egg every month, and this egg is picked up by the fallopian tube. So, when a man and a woman meet, the sperms will have to swim all their way through the uterus into the fallopian tube and get the egg fertilized. This fertilized egg will then take three to five days to move from the fallopian tube into the endometrium of the uterus for an implantation. But for some reason, in ectopic pregnancy, the fertilized egg is unable to attach itself into the endometrium of the uterus for implantation, but rather attaches itself to several locations outside the cavity of the uterus like in the abdominal cavity it can attach itself to the cervix and settle and start growing in the cervix it can attach itself to the ovary and start growing in the ovary it can also attach itself to the fallopian tube and start growing in the fallopian tube so these are the possible locations and ectopic pregnancy can happen but the most common one is the fallopian tube. About 95% of ectopic pregnancies happens in the fallopian tube. This is mostly because of partially blocked fallopian tube. So some way, somehow, because of the size of the sperms, they are able to even swim through the smallest opening in the fallopian tube and have the egg fertilized. So the fertilized egg or the embryo is big and therefore will not be able to pass through the same passage into the endometrium of the uterus for implantation and therefore will get stuck in the fallopian tube and start growing in the fallopian tube. Ectopic pregnancy usually will not proceed normally. It will not be viable and therefore such a pregnancy, the baby will eventually die. So it is very crucial to diagnose this condition very early so that the life of the woman can be saved and also your fallopian tube can also be saved. So during this ectopic pregnancy, as the embryo is growing in the fallopian tube, the fallopian tube will keep expanding and will be expanding. At some point, you will start having abdominal pain because blood vessels are going to rupture and blood will leak into your abdomen and you will start feeling abdominal pain and sometimes also you will bleed and you might mistake that for your monthly flow you understand as the embryo keeps growing and the fallopian tube keeps on expanding it will get to an extent that it cannot expand no longer and it will rupture that is a critical condition when it ruptures you are going to have internal bleeding and you will need prompt medical attention in order for your life to be saved what are the symptoms of ectopic pregnancy one is breast tenderness just in any pregnancy two abdominal pain three dizziness four 
is vagina bleeding that can vary in you know in amount or in quantity and the last one you at times don't even experience any symptoms at all what are the risk factors of ectopic pregnancy who is at risk of developing an ectopic pregnancy one is history of an ectopic pregnancy you have experienced or had an ectopic pregnancy in the past so the possibility that you can develop another ectopic pregnancy is high this is because whatever caused the previous ectopic pregnancy is likely to cause another ectopic pregnancy as simple as that number two is pid if you have pelvic inflammatory disease your risk of developing an ectopic pregnancy is high and pid is mostly or usually caused by sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea chlamydia syphilis this pid can migrate to your fallopian tube and cause scars to your tubes and eventually this can lead to blockage of your fallopian tube and this will increase your risk of getting ectopy pregnancy number three of course is sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea chlamydia and syphilis if you have any of these diseases you should make sure that you treat yourself very well if left untreated this can increase your risk of getting ectopy pregnancy later in life and if you have a partner that you don't trust so well make sure you do not get involved in an unprotected sexual intercourse with such a partner always make sure you protect yourself number four is multiple abortion you have had several abortions in the past so therefore your risk of developing ectopy pregnancy is high and number five is history of smoking number six is abdominal surgery like you've had a ruptured appendicitis in the past and you were operated on your risk of developing an ectopy pregnancy is high how do we diagnose ectopy pregnancy your doctor will carry out public examination to identify areas of pain tenderness mass in the tubes your ovaries to know where the pain is exactly coming from your doctor will also carry out blood pregnancy test to be sure you are pregnant indeed you also carry out what we call beta hcg lab this lab is going to quantify the amount of human coronary gonadotropin a hormone that becomes elevated in your blood when you are pregnant so abnormally high beta hcg is indicative of an ectopy pregnancy your doctor will also carry out ultrasound examination pelvic ultrasound examination most of times transvagina ultrasound examination to visualize the exact location of the pregnancy so what are the treatment options for ectopy pregnancy there are two treatment options for ectopy pregnancy medication and medical surgery when it comes to ectopy pregnancy early detection is very very crucial if it is detected early you can just be given medication and this medication is going to stop the embryo cell from growing it is also going to dissolve any present cells or any cells available and the embryo will not grow it will just pass out in the form of blood and, and your life will be saved and your fallopian tube will be protected but if it is not detected early and it ruptures you have no other choice but to go through the medical surgery procedure known as the laparoscopy where an insertion is made in your abdomen near your navel and it involves either sapingectomy or sapingostomy depending on the degree of damage to your fallopian tube and bleeding if the damage is severe you go through the sapingectomy where the entire fallopian tube together with your embryo would be removed but if the damage is not that severe 
you will go through the sapingostomy where the doctors will carefully locate the embryo and remove only the embryo leaving your fallopian tube intact for you so early detection is so 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 crucial so these are all you need to know about ectopic pregnancy once again if today is your first time of coming across my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any video coming from this channel like this video spread this information to others if you have any question don't hesitate to hit the comment section and i'll be more than ready to answer your questions once again thank you for watching i will see you in my next video